Have you had mental health problems? Have we met? Well, I just have a feeling for these things. So, have you? No, I have not had mental health problems. Even in this degenerate age of confession and complaint, when the vocabulary of Freudian mumbo-jumbo is emptied onto every conversation like vinegar onto a newspaper full of sodden chips, some of us choose not to tuck in. As if it weren't ludicrous enough that every child must be gifted, they now have to be ill as well. <laughs> a touch of Asperger's, some autism, dyslexia stalks the playground, poor mm. little things. If they can't confess to being abused, they must confess to being abusive. <laughs> well, my dear, I call you my dear from what is no doubt known as sincerity deficit disorder. <laughs> no, I have never suffered the slightest taint of mental illness because I am the impossible man, the man who is entirely well. Psychotherapists scatter in my and presence, ashamed of their sham profession. My little radar. Bugger off! A month in the clinic will do you the power of good, but it'll reclothe you in your rightful mind. I will give a foolish way. Everything all right? Mm. Oh, God. Here he is, like an exhibit in a courtroom drama. Mm. A practicing witch to help doctor, a man, man happy to turn my daughter against her own father, problem. inventing repulsive fantasies, polluting human imagination with murderous babies and incestuous... <laughs> well, he has got himself all worked up. I'll call an ambulance. Hoist with his own petard. As they say. Oh, God, that would really finish me off. Is she praying? That's not so far.